Get up there, I'll open the bottom, you're all right. That's it, now good daddy. What are you doing? Good lad, he's up. What's it like, Kev? It's full of smoke. Put a window through with your elbow then. So good for me. I bet you any money she's been smoking in bed. No, no, it's a bit further along. Here, look at that. Can you get in, son? Hang on. Kev, leave it, a fire brigade's here. I can see you! I can you! Boy, oh, it's a goal on this one. Pass on the corner. Right, let me check it out. Come on, that way. Check two behind and you're four. Take it back. No. Shift that ladder! You need some there, come on! Get him! There's nobody else here, and I don't want it! Alright, lad, we'll get him down. Who's up there? Me, mate! The man runs the pub, Bet Lynch! A lad and a woman, Andy. Is that the room? That's the room, mate, yeah? That's the room, Andy. Are you alright? Calm down. <laughs> Crawling to the women. You wash you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd look nice, wouldn't you? Breaking a window with your elbow, dressed where you were. <laughs> I would, wouldn't you? You'd yeah. be one in hospital. Yeah. He tried, though, didn't he? Of course I did. He did, that good lad. What's so yeah. were you? Trying to crack in your face. It's no funny about fire. <laughs> you'd laugh at earthquakes. Yeah, well, I don't know them, do I? Hey, they're all right. Yeah. Nobody's hurt, thank God. Yeah. Well, do you know? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
She's all yours, mate. Right. Stay with her, mate. All right. She's all yours, mate. Couldn't you just hang on a bit, love? Give me time to get my face on. <laughs> you look smashing, love. <laughs> Oh, are there things? Who are you? Well, I'm Mrs. Turpin. I work there. Well, I did. Oh, yes, those are a thing, such as they are. Oh. Um, I'll take them. Uh, I'll bring them round, Betty. Oh, thanks, lovey. I'll be wanting to work with you later on. Just a couple of questions. Oh, right. Well, everybody knows where I live, love. All right. Uh, I, I, uh, I work there and all at Mrs. Ogden, number 13. Right, Mrs. Ogden. Mr. Duckworth, I'd like a word with you. All right, come in. Thanks very much. Nice cup of tea, that. Do you want another cup? I've put kettle on. No, thanks. I'd better get on. So that's it. The lights went out and you changed the fuse. Put the right strength fuse in, did you? Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm always careful about them things, yeah. And the pumps have been playing up? Yeah, but now to worry about the two sorted them out. So all in all, you're saying the electrics weren't all they might have been? Yeah, well, it, it was all property, you know. Aye. Uh, Right, thanks again for the tea. Uh, Mrs Ogden, number 13, was it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll see myself out. You sure you fixed that fuse proper? Of course, I'm sure I'm not a fool. No, stop picking on your dad. I'm not picking on him. They'll do the picking, you know that look. They're like ferrets down a rat hole. Have you gone through all them this morning? There were 15 in there. You got a lung full of smoke, but apart from that, he's okay. He's stopping over at Hilda's. Well, I'll try and pop round and see him. Uh, but if you see him first, tell him to stop where he is. Yeah, okay. Cheers, mate. Yeah, Sit down. Okay. All right. All right, mate. Here's a couple of fancy cakes, Phyllis. Jimmy, Mum and Dad up. Ah, we kid. Man of mystery, me lad. Man of mystery. Hey, get his autograph, Phyllis, while you've got the chance. Eh? I was thinking of doing, but I've decided to give him a little kiss instead. Come here, love. Hey, you're a good boy. Listen, what have I done for Pete's sake? All I did was catch me death of cold. You flaunted your body, and from what I hear, you did wonders for ladies well. at Coronation Street. <laughs> there you go, big fella. Right, cheers, mate. Sit down. Well, See ya. See ya. Oh, here's one of them. I hear you and your mate rap for the George Medal. Give it a rest, we didn't do out. Not what I heard. Me neither. You were willing to have a go, that takes guts. Yeah, well, uh, I'll just go and see if anybody else wants fishing out the canal, shall I? <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, bye. All I am saying is watch what you tell them. Don't go talking yourself into trouble like you usually do. They're not stupid, these fellas, you know. Stop picking on your dad. Get your seat status in. Ma'am, will you shut up? I'm doing this for his own good, right? You know what he's like. Get him in a corner, he'll tell him a load of lies that I could have six and see through. And you'll be in a damn sight worse state if you get up to them kind of tricks. Oh, look. Listen to him, love. He's right. But they can't blame me for that wiring. I mean, it's not been looked at since Adam were on. Nobody is blaming you, you fathead. Hey. But you start spieling him in a load of rubbish, they'll begin to wonder, won't they? Just tell him the truth. Tell him that the wiring was up the spout. <laughs> Shall I tell him that I've put two after your fuse in it? Eh? You what? Did you? I don't know, I might have done. Yeah, well, well don't tell him that for God's sake. Maybe it's our fault. Maybe we, we, we go on at him so often he's wondered if he can ever do outright. Yeah, but it don't help, do you? Perhaps if I just, just take it as it comes, hey Dad. Look, don't worry, Chuck. You've got me on your side. Come see your mum and dad. Oh yeah, come in, come in. Okay, Delegation from the barmaid's union. <coughs> oh. 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 
Are we interrupting <coughs> your dinner, love? No, go on, you know. Uh... Well, I'll only be a minute, but you see, I've had a call from the brewery. Now, I don't know what it's about, but they want me there at about two o'clock. I mean, I was wondering if there was anything you wanted to say or if you want me to ask them any questions or anything. About your jobs, you mean? Fat jobs. I don't know, love. I'll ask, of course, but... I don't know how long I'll be, but... Uh, well, I thought if we all met at, at Gail's Cafe at about, say, half past five, it should be done by then. Well, then I'll be able to tell you what they say. Yeah, well, well, he'll be there, won't you, Chuck? Yeah, half yeah, past five. Yeah. Right, well, come on, get on with your dinner, love. Can I have a chip? Go on, then. Oi, Gloria. See ya. ta -ra. Right, come on, you two, or else we'll be having these cold. <laughs> 